Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while, but if you're new and you haven't subscribed to this, um, please watch this video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'll be posting videos every Thursday and I just want to give you guys what you need. So if you have any ideas or any questions you'd like to ask, please, please, please comment below. Let me know so that I can help you. Now, without further ado, on to the video. while since I posted a YouTube video. So today I am going to be focusing on um, three different things. So one is diet, two is going to be my flag nor fail haul, and three is going to be my $10, $10mall.com haul. So one of the things I have a problem with is when I get paid, or I kind of go on these like, really my cat just attacked her tower. I go on these sprees where um, I try to find like, the best deal and I kind of go shopping crazy. First, I want to start talking about diet. So I've gotten a lot of questions about like what my diet is right now. Um, just questions about diet in general. So with that being said, um, when it comes to diet, everybody is different. Every single person has different things that work for their body. Some people like to carb cycle. Some people like to... Um, I don't know, have a like, specific meal plan that tells them exactly what to eat and when to eat it type thing. And when it comes to your body, you have to kind of do a trial and error type thing. You have to figure out what works for you. So for me, what I have found to work is having a specific plan, like having someone actually write a plan and say, eat this right then at this time, follow it. And that's easy for me because I don't like having to... Um, I guess guess what I'm gonna be eating or what my macros should be. Um, I just like having someone who has the background help me get to where I need to be. So with that being said, I am also an online coach. I have a couple girls that are doing figure. I have a couple girls that are, you know, trying to come back from powerlifting and become leaner. And I know dieting. I know training, but. Even being someone with that knowledge, having your own coach as a athlete or as a competitor is an immense help because it takes a huge weight off your shoulders and it helps you to just be able to focus on all the other aspects of a prep, you know, where you don't have to focus on dieting or focus on tracking your macros and stuff like that. And a lot of people, a lot of big names, um, they track their macros on an app on their phone and that's how they do it. They do it if it fits in your macros lifestyle. If I were to do that, I'd be eating a bunch of shitty food and being like, oh yeah, well the macros add up and it just wouldn't work for me. So right now, currently, my diet is pretty fucking awesome. So I diet seven meals a day. Um, I do fasted cardio and I'm doing cardio post-workout. All my workouts are circuit style training and that's what I'm using right now in my prep and to get where I need to be for my competition. So. Right now, my diet is um, composed of different protein sources. So in the morning for my first meal and in my last meal, I'm eating egg whites. So egg whites, um, for my first meal, I'm eating two ounces of ground beef with that, three ounces of white potato, and a cup of greens. So I'm using spinach in that meal, um, and it creates like a nice omelet. So it's really delicious to eat first thing in the morning. I feel like I'm eating just a normal breakfast dish instead of like diet food. So that's a really great like pick me up um, for that. Um, then I go into my second meal and my third meal and these alternate all the way through. Two, three, four, and five alternate, right? Oh, five and six. Yeah, so five meals, right? Those alternate. So I eat two ounces of avocado, six ounces of chicken, and I eat like a cup of veggies, right? So. For my vegetables, I'm eating green beans right now because I just find those the most delicious and easier to eat. Um, I've done mixed vegetables, but I just have gotten to the point where I just can't stomach that right now. So I'm eating green beans. And then meal three is um, 
six ounces of top sirloin and um, three ounces of white potato and a cup of greens. So once again, I'm using green beans for that. And those, like I said, alternate. So it's chicken, steak, chicken, steak, chicken. And then my last meal is a cup of egg whites, two ounces of chicken breast, and a cup of greens. So that's my last meal for the night. And um, we've had to play around with it. My coach and me have had to play around with like the diet because, you know, I was eating protein pancakes in, in the beginning and like for meal number one, and it just wasn't enough food to, I guess, hold me over. I was immediately hungry after that before I even got to meal two. So, um, I don't know. One of the things with me is when I diet, I... <sighs> The more food I eat, the more weight I lose. So like I said, I'm on seven meals a day. They're pretty heavy meals. And when my metabolism, which is now like skyrocketed, um, I get super hungry like right after. So my meals at the end of the night and at the beginning of the you know day are bigger than what I've typically had in the past because that's just what I have found and my coach has found that my body needs. So like I said, diet all depends on your body. You know, you can try a fitted meal plan or you can try a um if it fits in your macros kind of thing where you know a coach or you give yourself a specific amount of macros for your carbs your protein and your fat and you lay it out saying this is what i'm gonna have for the day and that's it i know like christian guzman for example he's on youtube very big name he has his own company and he doesn't if it's your macros like diet and when i was watching his videos for like his like prep he would like not eat all day and then like load all of his macros in at the end of the day because he'd miss multiple meals and that seemed to work very well for him for me that would not work i would feel like i'm dying so a meal plan is definitely the most important thing for me at this time so if you have any more questions about diet or if you need me to explain anything or kind of lay out an explanation about any of the things that you just heard please comment below and let me know and i'll be sure to get back to you and do like a you know a follow-up video explaining more in depth with that being said, um, we are on to item number two, which is my Flagner Fail Haul. So um, they just had a, a like a clothing came talk. They just dropped some new items on their website um, at flagnerfail.com on the 26th at 9 p.m. And I was waiting for it all day. I just haven't had any new good workout clothes in a very long time. So um, one of the things that I really wanted to get was like leggings and like a sports bra, things that I feel like fit very well and things that I don't really have a lot of. I'm gonna go ahead and break down what I got and how, what I spent on said outfit. So I bought a Flagner Fail sports bra in red and that was $20. I also brought, bought another sports bra in black which was also $20. For $36 I got pink make history leggings um, in size small. So everything right now is size small. Um, I got this white crop tank, which I absolutely am in love with, for um, $26. I got black make history leggings for $36. Work hustle kill tee for $26. Um, I got a girl's headband like five pack that DLB kind of gives out, but I hadn't gotten my hair done yet, and that's just I'm not gonna be able to use them with my hair just because obviously this is not my real hair. It is a sew-in, which I'm absolutely in love with. It looks fucking amazing. It's the color is just phenomenal. But those small headbands are not going to cover my hair like it needs to when it comes to the gym. So definitely going to have to wait till my hair is a little bit longer to wear those. But I'm excited that I have them. And um, I also, what also came with that was a Flagner Fail beanie that came with, you know, once the price is over a certain amount, they give you free stuff. So I got a free beanie and I also got a test print that they had in an extra large for my husband so that he kind of has a shirt while I went crazy and spent all this money on clothes. So I'm going to go ahead and run through these outfits that I got so that you can see how they look, how they fit, and why I'm absolutely in love with them. So as you can see, this is the Flagner Fail crop, and it's about this long, and it hangs down kind of lower in the back, and that's how the back of it looks. So I absolutely love this because it's like super like flowy, but it also shows off a lot of like my muscle definition, which I love. I love when I'm at the tail end of my prep. Um, a lot of people bundle up. I don't. I like to start showing off the things that are tightening up. I do like to keep my legs covered um, just because like I feel like that helps pull out the like excess water that's there and it makes me feel better. So got this top. Absolutely in love with it. And then as you can see, I'm wearing the pink flag nor fail leggings, which fit perfectly leggings always fit me very oddly so these look absolutely amazing they say make history on the actual 
like spandex elastic part of it and they fit beautifully so one thing I love is how they make my legs look so you can like see all the definition through it everything's there and they fit perfect but they're also like breathable which is amazing so I have that then I also got this sports bra so this one also says make history on the elastic band and it fits phenomenally like it really does it looks absolutely amazing and there's the back of it and it just I don't know it just fits really well so if I wanted to just wear this with you know the leggings it looks like a complete outfit so I am so in love with it it's absolutely amazing fits like a glove perfect right absolutely perfect this is the beanie that I got um with the order so I love this because like I've always had shorter hair so now that I have my long hair it actually looks really good with it so I'm very pleased with it I think it looks really cute but um yeah nice little gift that I didn't think I was gonna be getting so I'm pretty excited that I got it um, I opened my package and it was in there so it looks absolutely amazing it fits perfectly and we're gonna be heading up to Illinois in February so a beanie will definitely come in handy um, these are the black Flagner fail leggings the exact same as the pink ones they say make history on the band and they're a size small as well so y'all know how big my quads are these fit perfectly so if you have big quads um, they fit like a glove like I usually just go off what DLB sizes are so like if it says she wears a small that's what I order so she said she wore a small so I got me a small. So these are amazing. Super excited to have them. I also got a, another sports bra and it's red. So it fits just like this black one. And it also says make history on the band, which I just love that. It's super motivational. You look in the mirror and you see that and it's like, yeah, I'm going to make history, you know? So it just, I mean, I don't know. It's like a motivational thing while you're like doing everything. I don't even know how to explain it. Also, I got this t-shirt work hard hustle harder and kill everything so that right there is just absolutely awesome um t-shirts are awesome because i like how they look on my body i feel like since my shoulders are growing it looks really good on my shoulders plus if i wear shorts i typically am going to wear a t-shirt with that um i don't know i just love Wagner fails t-shirts i'm not like a huge t-shirt person but um i've gotten to the point where i absolutely love it just because it kind of hides everything so it kind of makes people guess what your muscles are looking like especially when you're in the tail end of prep so absolutely love this shirt cannot wait to rock it i'm just so happy and then we have the test print that came with it as like a gift and this is in my husband's size so it's an extra large and this is what it looks like once again it says work hard hustle harder kill everything super amazing and then on the back of it it has all their companies that they you know have and own in you know cahoots with Flagner Phil so I know he's excited I told him about all these at work so yay so with that being said y'all just saw the Flagner Phil haul right and collectively with shipping I paid $183.99 for that so honestly I feel like I did amazing got some amazing things for that price and I'm super super excited um Lastly on my list, I wanted to go through my $10mall.com haul. So I'm always in gym clothes, always. I'm always in gym clothes, I'm always working out. But one of the things that I've noticed since I switched back to figure from physique is that I like the idea of looking like a girl. I like the idea of dressing up like a girl. I like the idea of wearing dresses. And when I'm in prep mode, I like how my body looks. I like how small my waist is and how big everything else is starting to look in comparison. So I wanted to get some dresses to kind of show off what my body is looking like at this point. So I'm going to try those on for you so that you can see and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is one of the dresses that I got at $10mall.com and I love it. Like it's thin enough to where you can see everything but not thin enough to where it like shows everything that's underneath. So like I can see my muscle definition oh, the abs. and it fits like it sits at a really good spot on my legs. It's tight on my back, which I love. I feel like it makes my booty look good. And then the top of it looks like this. So it's got, you know, 
normal sleeves. And I just, I don't know, I think it looks really good. And I can definitely look like a girl in this, so. On to the next one. So the next dress I got is this another bodycon dress and I love the detail like I love the print on it and like none of these dresses I really need to wear a bra with because they're tight enough so I appreciate that um obviously when I walk it's gonna ride up a little bit but not too much where it's ever gonna show anything the back detail looks like this obviously I still have a tag so ignore that but overall I think it's an absolutely gorgeous dress um it fits my shoulders very nicely without making them look huge um I don't know. It just looks good. So, so this is the next dress. And as you can see, this is a three-quarter sleeve dress, which I typically am not a fan of, but I like how this one fits. I like how my body's looking. So in this dress, it looks really good. Um, one thing I don't like about it is it's just a little loose in the back. So, I mean, I'd like for that to be kind of like tighter but I mean it's not so I mean you just have to accept it but it fits really nicely on the legs it's nice and loose there's breathing room so this dress is really good once again you can see definition through it so I like that um once again $10mall.com like really great stuff really cheap and it fits perfectly so on to last one to try on and then I'll show you the other one that I got that um actually doesn't fit because I'm just really big and um, I'm probably just going to give it to one of my sisters but I'll show you that dress as well so so the last one I'm going to try on is this kind of like tunic dress so I like this one just because it is super loose so it's kind of like a just go out with friends to the mall just chilling kind of thing not really dressy but still pretty casual gorgeous um I like to wear this one off my shoulder just because I think it looks better um you can also just like wear it loosely I mean whatever works right so I just like it because it's still girly and it's still dressy but it's like comfortable you know so I mean it's one of those dresses that you can like pair with a belt dress it up dress it down I think it looks really good it's super big but it doesn't like I feel like it doesn't like cloud my physique to make it where you can't see what's going on so yeah so lastly on my $10 mall haul I got this dress so looking at it you think it fit right this material is not stretchy whatsoever I tried to step into it and it stopped at my quads there's no way I can pull it over my shoulders or my lats so this dress as beautiful as it is it's off the shoulder so absolutely gorgeous beautiful it is it's not gonna work for me so I've got a little sister who is a lot smaller than me and then I have an older sister who's also a lot smaller than me so Amber Deborah one of y'all are gonna be gifted with this beauty who's it gonna be love y'all so total pricing for the $10 mall haul was um, I spent $73.92 total for all that you saw I also got a black v-neck t-shirt just a simple one um, ordered a white one but it ended up not being available so they refunded me the money but um, I spent $9.99 on that jersey dress that you saw I spent $12.99 on the three-quarter sleeve dress um, I spent $12.99 on the red knit striped cap um, bodycon midi dress I also spent $3.99 on the floor off the shoulder dress that I just showed you um, for the basic v-neck I spent $4.99 and for the print beautiful print dress that i showed you i spent 7.99 so super great products um most of them stretched and fit perfectly except for that one dress which i'm not even upset about so i was just like okay whatever uh, looks like i just have a gift to give to one of my siblings but i'm excited so everything like worked out really great there um i know that's kind of different from the usual videos i post i usually don't post any kind of fashion anything or style anything and um diving into new waters being different right um with that being said y'all you pretty much all of y'all follow me on instagram some of y'all have me on facebook regardless the majority of y'all are subscribed to this channel if you're not please go ahead click below subscribe to my channel um i've been posting a lot lately which 
somebody kick me in my ass, please, because I need to. Um, but I'm going to start stepping my game back up. Right now, it is um, November 1st. I am currently five weeks out and six weeks out from the next two shows I'm doing. Um, I have downsized, like I said before in my previous videos, I've downsized from women's physique to women's figure. I know, crazy. So I went from heels to no heels, back to heels. And like I told y'all before, my reason for that is I like the idea of being super feminine. I like the idea of at the age I'm at now, I'm 24 years old. And if y'all have seen some of my previous videos, I have had a pretty rough life. Um, I have borderline personality disorder, so my emotions are just kind of all over the place. And mentally, I just wasn't strong enough to, I guess, get that big and be able to deal with it. So, um, and I don't really want to um, take on a more masculine look. There was just some things that I wasn't liking my body being that big. Um, with figure, I've had to downsize my legs, which have definitely lost size, but I feel like they look so much better. My waist has shrunk in so much and my upper body is really shredded for this far out, I feel. And, um, I don't know, I'm working on building my caps and my shoulders, my medial delt. I work on those every single training day. So I'm just super excited. There's a lot of big things happening. And the goal is to do these next two shows, um, do the best that I can, do a show in March, do a show in May, and then do USA's in July, where I'm hoping to receive my pro card. Um, my husband will also be competing at um, in a show in May and also at USA's um, for his pro card. So we're really hoping that 2017 is our year. We feel really good and really confident about it. So, I mean, everything's going great here, and it can only go up from here. I really don't see it going down at all. Um, also, on a really fucking random side note, my husband got a motorcycle. So, he outright bought an Aprilia. Um, it's a 2007 with 11,000 miles. It's got twin exhaust. It's loud as fuck, and he's in love with it. So, today we're actually going to be riding on the bike to the gym. Because I haven't been on it yet, so we're going to give that a whirl. But um, things are going really good, guys. And I want to thank every single one of y'all for watching this channel, following me on Instagram, just showing your support for what I'm doing, and also allowing me to post and motivate you and ins you know inspire you. And I just, I don't know, things are going really good. And I don't know, I just never thought I'd be here, and I'm just so blessed that I am. So I just want to thank every single one of y'all for everything that y'all done for me because you have done a lot whether you realize it or not so um if you are new to this channel if you do not know me or anything like that please 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 click on the solvents tv or click on the little icon i think it's in this corner whatever whatever corner i think it's in this one click on the icon and subscribe to my channel um i'm gonna be posting videos i was saying every twice a week right now i'm gonna stick with maybe once a week so every like Thursday, I'll post a video, a new video, um, and then we'll see if we can ramp those numbers up. But, um, you guys are just amazing. You have made me so happy, and just please subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you think. Bye!